Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. It's Thursday, February 9th, 2022. My sister in law, Shelly's birthday. Happy birthday, Shelly. And my name is Jennifer Cotton. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Midlothian, Texas. And that means I teach people how to make greeting cards, scrapbook pages, gift packaging, and more with stamps, ink, paper, and lots of cool tools. So welcome. Thank you for being here, whether it's your first time watching or you have come back for more. Thank you so much. This is my full-time job, so I appreciate your support. Um, I have been a Stampin' Up! demonstrator for over 21 years now, and um, yeah, I love it. So, uh, first of all, good morning. I see Sue was here first in gloomy Green Bay, Wisconsin. Lots of miserable weather heading her way. Boo. Um, Janet in North Carolina. Hello. Hey, Crafts a Latte. Good to see you. Cindy, good morning. Lots of you over on YouTube, by the way. Thank you for watching over there. I think, by the way, this did not... I'm going to see if I can share it. I think it did not... Um, go in my group this morning. There's some uh, issues. <laughs> There's just some issues. Okay, so I'm sharing it to that group. Let me see if this works. Um, anyway, it's a whole StreamYard to Facebook link issue, I think. But anyway, good morning. So good to see you guys on both platforms. Hey, Jackie, good morning. Janet says it's beautiful in here in North Carolina. It's supposed to be in the 70s today. Yay. Cindy shared. Thank you. Hey, Ro. Good morning. Marsha. Good morning. Cindy. Good morning. In, I mean, Kathy in Pennsylvania and Cindy. Good morning. Um, let me scroll down now. Hey, Kylie. Good morning. Marsha in Texas. Terry in Granbury. <laughs> um, and Pat. Good morning. All right. Good to see you guys. Um, as a reminder, over on YouTube after this video today, so, you know, at some point after the video has ended, I will, let me throw this on the screen, I will add timestamps in the video description. That means you'll be able to skip directly to what you want to see. Um, stamping, specials, whatever I put in those timestamps. Um, so you'll just click more to view the entire video description and then click on the little blue numbers next to whatever it says, card number one, whatever. Um, so I will add those on YouTube and then I'll put some links in the corner up here, the little circle with an eye that you can click on to, uh, to get stuff. I'll add those tomorrow on February 10th, usually like before lunch. Okay, so that is going on. Um, by the way, I have a bag on my shoulder. I'm not going to show the contents today because my people who ordered the mega cruise retreat in a box to go are haven't received theirs yet it's going out on monday um but just a sneak peek of their gorgeous giant bag <laughs> um and mine is full of our make and takes and gifts i received or we received from each other <laughs> from april and jennifer on the cruise um so i'll be showing that on uh next week's video assuming i remember let me zip it up i almost had to get in there and tear all my stuff up um, but anyway, we had a great time on our crafting cruise. We hope you can join us next year. Uh, Jackie says, love my cruise bag. Yes, it's an uh, April did buy, uh, select those bags and they were awesome. Um, but anyway, the cruise was amazing. You should go next year. You just should go. Um, the ship was amazing. We're going to be on an even bigger ship next year, Harmony of the Seas. And it's in January and you should go. You can register now. Marcia says, don't forget to hit the thumbs up over on YouTube. Thank you, Marcia. <laughs> and um, Pat, good morning. Hey, Jennifer. Terry, <laughs> no problem. I knew that was you. She says she was on her business account accidentally. Um, Diana, good morning. Hey, Pat, thanks for sharing. Janet, the cruise was amazing. Um, yeah, we had so much fun. I got one class designed. I wish I had gotten a lot more done so because I'm so behind now, but I had a lot of fun. Landa and I um, and a bunch of other people, but we went to pretty much almost all the shows, which were amazing. Mamma Mia, Broadway production, singers, um, ice skaters, 
all that. Ate lots of food, lots of French onion soup. That's mine and Landa's favorite, I think, <laughs> at dinner and creme brulee. Anyway, it's amazing. No extra charge for all that food, by the way. You should go. It's amazing. And there was the crafting portion as well. If you um, search hashtag SS Crafting Cruise 2023 on Facebook, you can see some pictures people have posted. Um, Dar uh, Darlin, good morning. We missed you last week. Hope you had a nice time on your cruise. Thank you very much. Yes, that's where I was last week. Um, and Darlin hit the thumbs up. Yay. Jackie says, love my, oh, I said that already. I love my cruise bag. Um, thank you, Pat. Thanks, Kathy. And hello, France. Okay. So as you come on, say hi on either platform, YouTube, Facebook, replay, whatever. Um, that's going to get you entered to win the three cards I'm going to make today with the gorgeous Queen V bundle. Ooh, ah. Um, I think these dies are temporarily not available, but they're coming back. But don't worry. We die cut everything possible because this is going to be a free class I offer as well. Um, and then you might have to hand cut out like the large B and the small B. But I think everything else will be cut for you. That's cool. And um, then you can get this bundle when it comes back in stock. And anyway, Queen B, gorgeous stamp set there. So I'm going to make three cards and just by commenting on the video, you get entered to win those cards that I make today. They also will be my free class for the month of February. So I'll tell you all about that later. Um, and if you share the video, make sure you comment that you shared just like Pat has done uh, a few minutes ago and other people that I, whose names I can't think of right now, but if you comment shared, um, that tells me you shared it and that gets you entered again to win those cards. And of course that helps me. So thank you very much. Sharing, liking, hearting, thumbs up, subscribing, um, turning on notifications. Everything is helpful to me. So thank you very much. Pat says, I love Queen B. Yes, Pat's ready to go on another cruise next year. It looked fabulous. Woohoo. Yes, it was fabulous. Hey, Julie, good morning. Sandy, good morning. Thank you. And Julie, thanks for sharing. Okay, so my four monthly classes are the, a week after, a week from Saturday. <laughs> so like a week and a half away. And you can still sign up for these. Every month I offer four classes that anyone can take um, in person or to go. And you can even check out the supplies and stamp them at your house if you're local. Uh, all of my events are going to include a PDF tutorial unless otherwise stated. We die cut everything for you. We always emboss and punch, again, unless otherwise stated. And then you stamp and assemble if you take it to go with your stamps at home. Um, you can buy tutorials only. If we include designer paper or kit, you will cut those up with your PDF instructions. And so anyone in the U.S. can take my classes and anyone in the world can get the tutorials. That'll be that link um, to my tutorial store tomorrow. Um, so the four classes every month, no matter what, they always happen. Card class, scrapbook class, stamp a stack class, and sampler class. Every month we do these in person or to go. Um, card class is four cards for $15 free with a $20 order. We're going to use the, the thanks a bunch and the adorable owls stamp set. I have not designed these yet, but I have to by Sunday. That is my deadline. So I'll post sneak peeks, go to my VIP Facebook group, join that. Links will be in the video descriptions if they're not there already. Um, YouTube has all the links. Facebook has limited links due to posting issues there. So I'll update that after the video. Anyway, um, in the VIP group, I always post the sneak peeks there first. As soon as I finish, I take a picture and I go post it. So Grab that or join that um, scrapbook class, three 12 by 12 pages for $15 free with a $20 order. We're going to use the thanks a bunch stamp set. It's so cute for spring, um, two pages, and then the Easter bunny bundle for a single page. And then next month in March, we'll make page two to that. So you can always take that class every month and end up with double page layouts, 12 by 12. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, so those two are 
15 free with a $20 order. The class is happening February 18th. You need to register by February 16th for those. And they are while supplies last. So if we run out of kits, I will tell you, I'm sorry, you registered too late. <laughs> um, and then they get mailed on February 20th. And then the other two are my clubs that you can join, my subscription clubs, Sampler and Stampastack. You need to register for these by February 12th. That's this Sunday. So it's the 9th today. You have three. Well, four days if you got today to register and join, or you can just take these classes individually. So I made my sampler yesterday. I think it's gorgeous, personally. <laughs> I posted a sneak peek, but I don't know if it fully shows how gorgeous it is. We're using the two tone flora bundle. And so I'm going to show you a sneak peek now, but it's going to be quick because, of course, if you take the class, you get the full PDF and all that stuff. So, but I think it's gorgeous. I really love it. Okay, so there we go. That's the class. It's only uh, $28 for club members, $30 if you're not a club member. It includes over $20 in merchandise. And then we cut die cut, punch, and boss everything possible. Like that big blue piece you saw there. Yeah, we're going to die cut that for you. Um, and then you will stamp and assemble at home if you're not local. Uh, so, any questions, let me know. Join, register, or join the club by February 12th. And then stamp a stack. I'm hoping to design today, but I have other uh, priority things that I have to do today first. So, but if I get it done today, again, I'll post those sneak peeks over on the group. Um, anyway, we're using the Sentimental Park Bundle, which is the same bundle I'm using with Genevieve on our camp. So they will be completely different cards designs, but um, you can double up and use that same bundle on two classes I'm taking. So it saves you some money. You don't have to buy two bundles. Um, but anyway, Stamp a Stack is 12 cards for $30 for club members, 32 for non. Um, you can cancel club at any time, by the way, but after six consecutive months, you get $25 in free merchandise from me and each club you would get it for every club you're in which there are two of um so some people are in both clubs and they get that bonus every time they cross the six month consecutive threshold okay um over twenty dollars in merchandise 12 cards four designs three of each any questions let me know register by february 12th Okay, Jen and Jen Stamp Camp, it is time to register. The deadline is February 13th, which is, is that the same day as my other class? It's Monday. I don't know why I put Monday as the deadline, but it's Monday. <laughs> Usually I make Sunday my deadlines, but that's what this paper says. Um, so I'm going to show you a sneak peek here of Genevieve's class. So basically there's three choices with this camp. You can do one, two, or all three. Genevieve's class, you're going to make six cards with the Playing in the Rain bundle. Super cute. As you can see from the sneak peek here, we're going to cut, die cut, punch, and boss everything we can. You will stamp and assemble at home with your Playing in the Rain bundle. And um, we do include the stamp set in this class, but you can totally substitute something else when you register it if you already own it or don't want it. So that's her class. My class is, and that's six cards. Mine is six cards, which I th love how they turned out personally. With the um, on the farm bundle, you're going to get a, with my class, you will get the stamp set. Again, you can substitute and you're going to get one fourth of a pack. Yes. Of the farm, I forget the official name, designer paper from Celebration. Six cards of uh, at least one fun fold in here. It's just one. But anyway, the cards are super cute. We cut, die, cut, punch and emboss everything possible. Um, you will do some die cutting, you know, of the animals after you stamp them or from your DSP. Or you can hand cut them out if you don't own those dies. Anyway, six cards, super cute. So that's another class you can take. And then there's the big camp, which is, um, you know, it includes, I don't know if I have the number here. Yeah, oh. $38 in merchandise, 10 cards, a Facebook party. So you only get the Facebook party if you take the camp, whether you add on the classes or not. By the way, if you take all three, we give you a bonus gift, a product, a full product. Um, $38 in merchandise, 10 make and takes, PDF tutorials, Facebook party where you have a chance to win 
a chance to win lots of door prizes. And it's just a lot of fun. So, and we do bonus videos in that group as well. You complete your projects with a PDF tutorial. So these are five of the 10 cards because Genevieve designed the other five and I have not had time to make the ones she designed. But um, it's the Sentimental Park Bundle. It's gorgeous. You should definitely register for this class. <laughs> and I think it's too late to register in Canada because she has to order stuff sooner than me in the U.S. But you can, Genevieve Co., in case I didn't mention that, is a Canadian demonstrator. And that's who my partner is for this event. And she, uh, I, you can register for this class, all of those through her. But I think the deadline is passed. Just touch base with Genevieve and let me know if you need her contact info. Okay, so we have that. Um, we have an in-person retreat coming up in April, April 20th in Temple, Texas. This will be offered to go. April McCright and I do these retreats together, just like the cruise. And we are waiting to see on March 1st, Stampin' Up! is releasing a bunch of new products that demonstrators have not seen yet. We've only seen a small sneak peek. Um, and we're waiting to see if we want to use any of those as our retreat projects versus mini catalogs. So we will announce probably on March 1st or 2nd what we're using and open up registration soon after for that to go retreat. But of course, you can register for in person now. Retreats, they're in Temple, Texas. It's amazing. The location is huge. You get an eight foot table. You get plenty of space behind you. You don't have to worry about rolling into the person behind you. Um, you get meals by our amazing personal chef, <laughs> Dana. Um, you get to use our supplies for the 10 or more make and takes. You get to use our supplies if you add on the optional add on classes. You get a bed to sleep in. It might be upstairs. It probably will be upstairs, but hopefully that's fine. And you get to have so much fun all weekend with us. So definitely check out our retreats. Temple, Texas, about an hour from Austin, Texas. And then we also have one in August, by the way. If you can't make this one, you can register now for August 10th. Okay. Or if you want to do both. Most people do both. <laughs> Um, coming soon, I have no graphics or anything yet, but I'm doing a mega camp with Alejandra Gomez. It's going to be super cute. She's already designed her cards. I have to design mine next week and, or anyway, I have to design mine. This is the long story short of that, but we'll be having those registration links and details coming out soon, but uh, just know it's coming and it will happen and be mailed by the end of February, end of this month. Okay, so January 28th through February 4th, Harmony of the Seas 2024, Crafting Cruise, Register Now, Space is Limited due to the size of the crafting room and how many tables they give us. So you want to register now. Um, and then that gives you a very long time to pay it off, by the way months and months to pay it off. Uh, you can get any cabin you want. So your cabin could be as low as three, $400 to up to whatever, <laughs> you know, if you want a balcony or a suite or whatever. Um, but you're not, you can choose any cabin you want. And then you only, you pay the crafter's fee and anyone who wants to craft, everybody else that comes with you can just get our amazing group rate, which is going to be cheaper than any Royal Caribbean special that's offered. Um, so sign up now. And I showed you the bag already that we got last time, which is full of stuff. Okay, let me check up on your comments. And then I'm going to show <laughs> show you some more show and tell stuff I have on the table down here when I point the camera down and then we'll get started. Um, so let me see. Sandy, I think it said hi, Sandy, but I can't remember. So good morning, Lorraine. Good morning. Hey, Jen, Martha. Good morning. Kathy shared. Thank you. Um, Marcia in Wisconsin, good morning to you. Hey, Stella, thank you about the sampler. Hey, Marcia, thanks for sharing. And Alejandra, good morning to you as well. Okay, so I'm going to point the camera down, but it doesn't look, it's not like um, organized yet, really. But I have some show and tell. So first of all, first of all, my husband has a P.O. box, and that 
a lot of some of my customers accidentally have my PO box as my address, his PO box. Well, he had not checked the mail since November as he uses it for very rare occasions. Anyway, long story short, there were two Christmas cards in there. One is from Pat Chat. Thank you so much, Pat. So I I didn't want these two people to be like, well, rude, you never showed my card during Christmas. And Sue Z, who's on here right now, Sue, I literally got your Christmas card this week, but it came. My husband just didn't check that mailbox. Um, gorgeous cards from both of you. Thank you so much. I think Pat might be on here too today. She usually watches. Anyway, thank you so much. Little Christmas inspiration for you guys for next year. <laughs> anyway, kind of funny, kind of sad. And then these are from our crafting crews. We had a optional card swap. We always do that anyone attending can participate in, but they're not required to. And um, we had, I think, 12 participants and amazing swaps. I don't have necessarily the names on all of them. I do have a name on that one. But, um, and I don't know or remember who did them all. But anyway, this one was from Celine. Gorgeous. Um, just a gorgeous card and then I thought this one was super cute it's a fun fold and with the now blinked out on the name of that stamp set but I forgot the name but it's the one with the fiesta something fiesta maybe taco fiesta super cute with the but they combined it with the cat um, from love cats so cute this is the one that everyone voted or it got the most votes as our winner from and I, so I remember this was Vivian isn't that gorgeous? She made a birdhouse. It's like embossed and sponged and textured. You can see the little um, nest through there, like gorgeous. So she was the winner. Uh, this was April's. I just remember because she was sitting there next to me making it. Um, I don't know whose this one is, but it is another fun fold. Super cute with the little piggy. I think you might still be able to get those dies on clearance rack. Anyway, side note. Um, another gorgeous card. Sorry, I don't know who made these. Another gorgeous card. <laughs> this is just to give you inspiration and ideas. This one, I believe, was second place. Oh, I can't remember who made it now. But I did not even know we sold this die, but this is a Stampin' Up! die. It's with like a dragonfly stamp set in the mini catalog. So if you haven't seen that yet, look how large that lantern is. It's so cool. Uh, then we have another Valentine, several Valentine cards. This was the one I made on the ship due to, that's all I had time. Oh, and this is Landa's. We have a dancing gnome. Isn't that adorable? He dances. And um, super cute. Those gnome dies actually went not orderable, but they're coming back. So you cannot order them right now, but they are coming back. And then, so those are our swaps. Hope you guys like those. I love them. Lighting your way. And for me, Julie made the lighting your way swap. Awesome. Um, these are some gifts I received from some of our cruisers. So this was is a bag, obviously. But inside is a... Uh, glue holder, one of those Tombow glue holders, and then the little things here hold the lids, whichever lid you took off, so very cute and cool. Uh, thank you, Robin. Now, I'm not going to be good with names. This was from Cheryl and Celine, and it's full of treats, which I think, yeah, most of those treats are still here. I ate, I got a lot more candy than what you see here because I ate almost all of it on the ship. Um, but lots of treats in here. Yay. I might just have to put that aside for after this video. And then this bag is full of gifts from lots of other people, lots of different people. It's mixed together. So again, lots of treats, popcorn, uh, ducks. If you guys don't know about ducks on cruises, Google it. It's a thing. <laughs> um, cookies. So cute. With the um, uh, what do you call it? Flip stuff. Chapstick. Sticky notes. Love. A cute ice cream pin with some coconut. These things here. Coconut rolls. 
um, or sticky notes. And then there was a whole bag of seeds candies, which I fully ate right there on the ship <laughs> in the crop room. Anyway, and there was a lot more candy and stuff, again, which I ate. So thank you guys all for the gifts. We, April and I, appreciate you, of course. And you don't have to bring us a gift, but we love it when you do. <laughs> so thank you, thank you. And then this is a gift I received literally, I think, the day before I got on the ship. <laughs> it came in the mail as a surprise from one of my team members, Betsy. And she wrote, a really nice note about how she appreciates us and our team and what we do for the team. But gorgeous card she um, included, gorgeous, <laughs> with the whole ice cream, I forgot the name of it, shake, share a milkshake, yeah, bundle. Um, but look, she has a 3D printer and she made me this holder and she sent me a photo how it holds what goes in what slot, all the stuff it holds. Um, so that is amazing. And then a little sign for my logo, the stamp therapist. Isn't that amazing? So thank you, Betsy. I did want to give her full credit on video. <laughs> um, but I received it, I believe it was the day before we left on the cruise. So pretty cool. Okay. Um, don't forget, you know, now I'm going to talk about specials real quick. Don't forget, uh, Celebration is still happening. You only have until February 28th to get all the free stuff you want <laughs> um, from Stampin' Up. Every time you spend $50 or $100 right now, you're automatically going to qualify for a free gift of your choice. No limit. Spend $100, pick two fifties, one one hundred, dollars and so on. Uh, get two of the owls if you want them. Get three, four, or five of anything. It doesn't matter. So we have the owls, the thanks a bunch. That's the one I'm using for scrapbook this month. And I think card class, if you remember. Let me look. What's card class? No, uh, thanks a bunch. Yes, I think I'm using it for both. Anyway, um, Dainty Flowers Designer Paper. I'm using that today on our cards. <laughs> Day at the Farm. That's the one I'm including a partial pack with in that class I'm doing with Genevieve. Sending support, stamp set. Gorgeous favored flowers 12 by 12. We use that all in the cruise, lots of the cruise projects in the country. Beautifully happy, which that's where we start with a hundred for beautifully happy. Uh, Dandy designs 12 by 12, 48 sheets, free with a hundred. Um, we even have a stamp set you can get with a $300 order. And I have found that um, even if you You, what was it? Now I forgot. But anyway, pretty much any order of 300 gets that, whether it's host code or not. So it's a gorgeous um, stamp set called Scenic Garden. So those are the purchasing specials and hosting or, you know, making a big purchase. And then, of course, we have our join special. It's amazing. This is an incredible deal. If you're just like, what... Uh, val what's the best value you have for me right now? This is the best value because there's three choices. The first two are $129 and include $175 of your choice in product plus a mini die cut machine free um, or free like it's half price basically. So for $129, you get the die cut machine and $175 in merchandise of your choice. Uh, you can get white or boho blue, which is a new color that will be coming out in May. But if you don't want the machine, you only pay $99 and you get $175 in merchandise. All three include free shipping. So it's $99 plus tax. Here in Texas, that's like $107 for $175 before tax and shipping, which is uh, like add another $40 for tax and shipping. If you want to know the value, plus you get a free past paper pumpkin kit. Um, plus you get to get a discount through like uh, June, July, 2023. If you choose a minimum 20% discount on any purchase you make, you qualify for all the customer specials. So like I get celebration items with my own purchases. I get host benefits, whatever's going on with Stampin' Up! I qualify for that as a demonstrator as well. It's amazing. And there's no obligation. You don't have to sell. You don't have to do even get your discount. 
you know, you don't have to do any of that if you purchase the kit. Um, okay, and then Stampin' Up! released more free items you can choose with your purchases through February 28th. They're saying more to celebrate. And these one, two, three, four, six, seven, nine, ten items, you can totally mix and match. You when you place an order through February 28th, you can mix these free items with these and vice versa, or only select from one or the other. It's fully up to you. And so the those are the kindness cards kit. <laughs> The Let's Party Treat Packaging Kit. The White Frayed Ribbon. So pretty. The Essential Tag Punch. Songbird Builder Punch. Into the Clouds Embossing Folder. A lot of people uh, at, on the cruise were getting that as their free item uh, because they don't have it. I use that folder a lot in my classes and projects. So I already know how awesome it is. Um, it's just really pretty. Let me grab it real quick. I it's over here. Yeah. I use it a lot. Anyway, it's got the clouds and then those lines. If you can see that, it's really pretty. Um, the hive embossing folder, which I think I'm using today. I use that all the time. It's amazing. Loveliest layers decorative mask. Enjoy the journey. 12 by 12 paper. Gorgeous. And Eden's garden bu bundle. Ooh, the whole bundle free with a hundred. What else is a hundred? That's the only one. The rest are free with 50. Okay, so there you go. I think I em hopefully I emailed it out. I can't even remember. The cruise was busy. <laughs> but um that's that's what's going on with celebration. And then finally, I think finally, this is brand new product I just got in. If you've seen it already awesome <laughs> if not awesome um but i'm going to show you this new product that will come out march 1st if you're not a demonstrator and if you are a demonstrator you can purchase it now it's called a pre-order we always get to pre-order first so before back orders before everybody else you know all that stuff um this is part of the online exclusives that will come out march 1st and there's just like a flyer about it. The QR code does not work yet. That'll start on March 1st. Um, but there's like pictures and samples. But anyway, here are all the products that you can order now. So if you do get that starter kit for $99 or $129, you can pick any of these products in the starter kit that I'm about to show you. So we have a bundle, of course, sold individually. The Irresistible Blooms stamp set, red rubber. Obviously, blooms. There are flowers. Two really large. Um, they're like outline flowers that you could color in, but they're super thick lines, so they're going to stand alone fine, if that makes sense. You can stamp it in, you know, whatever color you want. Flirty flamingo, whatever, and it's going to look fine, or you could then go ahead and add color to it. Um, I don't know what kind of flowers they are, but anyway, two large flowers. Then two larger leafy images, one with three, one with two. One of the leaves is solid with the veins etched out. And then the other two are outline and same on the singles. One solid, one outline. Again, it's going to look great, not even colored in. Then there's a really large splatter stamp, which I always like to just have those on hand um, to use with anything. But that would be a great way to fill in some color on your flowers again without having to actually color it a small three leaf image and then these greetings use a really cute cursive -y, almost like um, lettering font that I haven't that I don't remember anyway in Stampin' Up! before other stamp sets so we have I like you thank you I couldn't be happier to have you as my friend hello and hooray it's your day so there's that irresistible blooms and now we're naming our dyes the same name. So the coordinating dyes are called Irresistible Blooms. <laughs> the bundle. By the way, you can get the whole, everything on this page is only $74.50 total, um, including bundle pricing. But anyway, the bundle is $54. So the dyes look really cool. Of course, you can cut out all the stamped images. There's a few 
single leaf dies as well that stand alone. And then these two sort of uh, decorative dies. So this one's in the shape of a circle, but when you cut it out, it's going to cut out rings with dots on them, basically. So it's like kind of three, one perfect circle in the background and then inside it, these additional circles that are not perfect. Really cute, really large on the outer edge. It's like three, can't, three and three eighths total. And then there's a border image where you can, I don't know if you want to use it as a border, but because I haven't cut it yet, it looks like it fully cuts out the entire image. Um, anyway, these lines with cir dots, circles in them. I haven't cut any of this yet. Of course, I did order this when I went on, or while I was on the cruise when they released it, and it arrived like Tuesday. It came really fast. Okay, there's that. Then we have this designer paper, number two, the Hello Irresistible. I literally have not taken it out. All I did was cut it open yesterday, but the colors listed on here are Daffodil Delight. It's six by six. Flirty Flamingo, Lost Lagoon, Petal Pink, Pretty Peacock, and Soft Seafoam. Lost Lagoon and Pretty Peacock are retired. March 1st, we'll find out why they're in this pack. <laughs> hint, hint. Um, four sheets of each design. You've got gorgeous um, background type images, florals, leaves. The, of course... Um, Images similar to the flowers and leaves that are in the stamp set. There's like watercolory backgrounds, some with patterns, some without. Ooh, that one's gorgeous. That's pretty peacock. Everybody remember that color? <laughs> um, I'm trying to think what else. Lots of splatters in there as well. Super gorgeous. Then we have these loose. Frosted dots. Um, so the name loose in the title gives you tells you they're not attached to a sheet. They're gorgeous though. Look how sparkly. Just on this video. <laughs> Just on this video alone. So you're gonna want to use little dots of your liquid glue or um, glue dots or whatever to attach these or make a shaker card with them, but gorgeous. And let's see, let me just turn one over. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So uh, the colors and those, oh, I don't have it written down, but I think it's Pretty Peacock. Let me look up here. Sorry, let me look right here. Pretty Peacock, I think. Daffodil Delight and Flirty Flamingo, I believe. They did tell us over in a, in a Facebook group, but anyway, officially, because it's not written on here. Okay, then we have... Well, let me just go and order the naturally gilded 12 by 12 designer paper. It's foil. So you get like a sheet that's very vanilla. Uh, two designs of this 12 by 12. Very vanilla with all of these gold foil. Almost. they're almost, You see almost like a daisy, but almost sort of an Asian style flower image to me as well. Just growing from top to bottom. Filling it up with lots of splatter in between. Gold foil. And we have a silver one, silver foil. These plants growing from top to bottom are more like trees or just really close up of a thick, thick plant, you know, flower stem or whatever. And then some little floral things and splatters. It's a little abstract, but yet not. And then the, uh, by the way, the silver one has a white background instead of vanilla. And then this copper one has a white background. So same deal, you get two sheets. It's um, copper and it's more almost like a wildflower feel of these plants growing up with splatter. Gorgeous. I love it. <laughs> by the way, these products are technically while supplies last, but yet Stampin' Up! is not intending to make them run out really fast. I mean, knock on wood, I'm not saying don't buy it right away to guarantee it, but they're not trying to make it like a short-term thing. Anyway, I think it will depend on popularity. Okay, the Basics 3D Embossing Folders, $30 for three folders. They're the thick 
3D kind. And I love these designs. So this one's, I think I used this. Did I? No, I didn't. Oh, I did use it on one card today, but not the one I'm making. So I'll show it at the end. So it's like these little hash marks. And then this dot one, it's like polka dots. They're evenly spaced and all, but they, they give you the feel of our embellishments. Like it's a really big rounded dot. So it's like the feel of an embellishment like this. The look and feel. So it's less like polka dots than I thought it would be. It's gorgeous. I tried to use it on one of these cards. That's what this black embossed piece is. But uh, it just didn't work out for the design I was going for. And then the last one is these little flowers. But while we were on the cruise and we saw this online, we said, oh, starfish. Perfect for a cruise. But it's like little flowers, little five petal flowers with lines in between it's just all texture there's no space in between and last but not least classic letters alphabet a nice medium size alphabet and numbers stamp set photopolymer gonna be gorgeous um well let me measure the letter real quick for height and then we'll be done with this part one inch tall they're really big but I'd call them medium, personally. Classic letters. So you get all the numbers, some symbols, uh, two A's, two L's, two P's. I guess that's all, the doubles. But anyway, and then there's some little leafy images and some symbols, like colons and stuff. So, there you go. You can get it now. Just get the starter kit. <laughs> or if you're a demonstrator, you get it now. And by the way, of course, we always get our discount on top of whatever the price is here. Even though it's a pre-order and it's for demonstrators only, we're getting our discount off of these prices. Okay, so I'm going to make three cards today with the Queen Bee Bundle. Yay. Gorgeous. Let me check the comments because I haven't looked up here in quite a minute. Um, this is in our mini catalog. Now, I do want to state <laughs> that this mini catalog is while supplies last basically from the day it starts um, we don't promote it that way we don't necessarily we demonstrators don't necessarily remember that on day one but it is it's a limited catalog and some of the products could sell out soon soon you know sooner than april and not come back others might sell out and do come back so if you ever see something in these mini catalogs that you love, buy it right then. <laughs> like if you're like, I cannot live without blank, just buy it right then. Um, so for example, we have sold out of our, our lucky clover. I think it's called punch. It's not coming back unless, you know, some kind of miracle happens. But right now it's sold out. Um, was there another thing? Let me look at my list real quick. Because now I'm blanking inventory so of course as a demonstrator the cool thing is you have access to the inventory report as well um oh yeah so that's it from that book sold out now some other things are temporarily not available they're coming back like the bunny punch around may 15th the country bouquet april 17th these are estimated dates by the way queen bee dies the ones i'm showing you march 13th framed florette dies march 27th dainty delight dies march 13th gnome dies march 27th those are estimated dates you know that definitely can change due to shipping from overseas anyway my point is while supplies last so if you see something you love go ahead and grab it before it does sell out just in case because you don't know Okay, so Queen Bee, um, we have, this is a red rubber stamp set. There is a gorgeous, really large bee image that's um, artistic. So the wings are made of flowers. There's flowers in the body. There's a little heart in the top part of the body. You know, it's very artistic. There's a large floral image with leaves and just flowers, um, you know, several stems, really tall and curvy there is a border image a decorative border there's a, a background image that has words it's like maybe from a dictionary or a, 
gardening book or a book about bees and flowers where you can't really read all the words. It's faded out and there's splatter in there. So it makes a great background. Um, there's a small bee, again, very artistic. So it's really, by the way, see all these white dots in the image on the cover here? That makes you think you didn't stamp it good. It's really um, distressed. So you did stamp it good, probably, but it's not going to pick up ink where those white parts are. Anyway, the little bee has a nice large flower on it, and it's so it's super pretty. Um, a small, really small splatter stamp, and then four greetings. Birthday, queen, happy, and a really tiny beloved. And then, of course, coordinating dies that will cut out all of the stamped images, plus this image here, which I used on the card I'm not making today. It's like a half of a, it's a, I don't know what the official name for these are, but it's like a swag almost, but it's really a half circle. So you can put several of these together and make a wreath any season, in my opinion. That can be a Christmas wreath, <laughs> a fall wreath, a wreath for your bee, whatever. Um, what else? Some single flowers, some single leaves, some uh, large bee detail wings that can go on top of your stamped large bee, uh, a little honeycomb die cut out, little tiny honeycomb piece, a, a frame, I mean a label for your um, words and stuff, a tiny heart, which I am using today. It's very tiny. It goes right inside that bee there. Um, oh, of course, that crown is for the stamped image. I feel, oh, I'm sorry. I'm like, there's one more thing I meant to mention. A small bee that's two steps that does not coordinate with this stamped bee. It's just standalone. Okay, so anyway, there we go. I'll leave them out in case I don't remember what I need to cut for y'all today. Let's start with card number one. So this is my free class that I will be offering this month in February. You can get this a class packet to make four cards. I'm only making three today, but you'll get a class to make four. Um, if your order online is 25 or more with this host code WUQ34YNP, that's going to be emailed out, posted on my blog, etc. Anyway, 25 or more with that host code is the free class packet to make four cards. 50 or more also gets you the free champagne rhinestones. That's through February 15th. Um, 150 or more, of course, you get celebration with your purchases. 150 or more, you're also going to get host benefits, at least $15 free. So in that case, do not use the host code. Uh, I mail these kits in March and limit one kit per person per month. Um, I wanted to look up something. Oh, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> what it was. Anyway, we'll just go on with this. Okay, so card number one. Um, here's the rhinestones you can get free as well. I'm blanking out. Okay, so we're going to provide in this class kit a scrap of basic white. It's going to be to stamp some images on. But I've stamped most of these. But anyway, um, this, this is just a representation of how they're going to fit on here. But this bead will be in crushed curry. This one will be heat embossed with gold. But anyway, we'll deal with that at the time I make those cards. And then, for example, this is how one of your class packets will look. We'll cut the designer paper. We'll give you the ribbon. We'll pre-die cut the bees and the label, etc. So I'm going to make this card first. And, of course, you'll have four cards in there, not three. So the back piece here is crumb cake. It is our card base. It is five and a half by eight and a half. I'm going to go back to my comments here because I, I said I was going to. Stella said, love the dancing gnome. Landa, credit to you on that. <laughs> um, hey, Linda in Idaho, riding in car, saving video. Ro loves that container. Yes. Liked and shared seal. Thank you so much. I know, Betsy. Uh, I just didn't look up when you guys were commenting about, commenting about the gift from Betsy. It is awesome. Uh, Ramona shared. Thank you. Kathy shared. Hey, Marcella in sunny Florida. Kathy in Minnesota. Uh, Linda, yes, we had a wonderful time. Hey, Kathleen in Florida. Betsy, good morning. Did, were you here when I was talking about you and showing your stuff? <laughs> um, if not, you can go back and watch replay and get that credit. Hey, Kat, 
uh, sorry, let me see, Kathleen, Martha says the paper's gorgeous, I agree, Ro Rose says my box will be here tomorrow with all the wonderful goodies, love it, love the leaves and splatter stamp, Kathleen, Paige Carol in Connecticut, <laughs> Pat found a few colors of those retired sheets in her stash, awesome, Carol shared, thank you, a wow collection suite, definitely Linda, um, Kathleen thinks there's going to be a color refresh. We'll take bets. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, paper is what sold me on this bundle. Didn't want more flowers, but I caved in. I love it, Kathy. <laughs> yep. So flowers are just so pretty, though. Hey, uh, Shirley, good morning. Thanks for sharing. Hey, Eleanor, love seeing the sheets with the pre-ordered items. I'm going to have going to have to buy several of these. Yes. Hey, Valley Chick. Hey. Mary Ellen, Deborah Duke. Yeah, Bessie, you just came in a few minutes too late on that. Okay, card number one, official. Crumb cake card base. It's half sheet of crumb, eight and a half by 11 crumb cake. So five and a half by eight and a half. Fold it in half with a bone folder to get a crisp fold, especially on the inside. And this will be a portrait card. So I'm going to set that aside for now, but I am actually going to stamp on that today. Then the other pieces you'll need that will be in your packet are a piece of basic black. I put all these measurements on the blog post that goes out at 11 o'clock today. I just remembered what I was going to do. I'm just going to add my info. There we go. Okay, so blog, stamptherapist.com. Um, all the measurements will be there. So basic black. And then this is the Dan Dainty Flowers designer paper. I've cut a piece um, to fit inside that black. Actually, I cut the piece and then I cut the black but you know same difference <laughs> this is the dainty flowers it's 12 by 12 you get 12 sheets free with a $50 purchase and this is one of those sheets that has the sheet I cut the that paper from is the one that has flowers growing up from one side toward the middle and then the other half on the other side where I Obviously, I've cut this off. It has the same exact flowers growing from that side. So you can get, I cut that at three inches so that you can get four from each side. So that's eight cards from, of the card I'm about to make with one sheet of this designer paper. The back has the old olive with the little white old olive flowers and this dressing. Anyway, this paper is gorgeous. I know I've shown it on several videos, um, but you can get it free with a purchase right now. No limit. So, and then they will not sell it in the future. So now's the time to get that. Okay, so we have that. Then we have the little label die from the dies I just showed you. Cut out of crumb cake. It's a stitched label. It is um, about seven eighths inches by two and a fourth, but the ends have a little bump out on the left and right. So it's like a, a nice um, designer tag, not just a rectangle. And then I pre-die cut the B that I was telling you stands alone. It's a small B. Um, there's a solid part and the wing uh, detail part, I should say. So I cut the solid in basic black and the detail in crushed curry to glue on top. And then one small piece of basic or whisper white crinkled seam binding. Okay. So for this card, I'm going to stamp this large flower image on, as a background here. And I did use inspiration for this card <laughs> from a card Chris Tremier made on or for my new catalog kickoff event. Grabbing all the stamps I need. Um, so this was inspired by a card she made, but I did change it up some. And technically, I can't show you that unless you participated in that event. And you can go over to that group and see the cart. So, there we go. <laughs> but anyway, here's the flower image. It's tall. A, a little over four inches and maybe one and a half inches wide. Flowers growing up, curving to the right a little bit with leaves and flowers. Kind of wild flower looking. I'm going to use crumb cake ink on this crumb cake card base. And I'm just going to stamp these flowers as a background. And I'm gonna have them stay the same direction, 
you know, up and down. I'm not going to flip it upside down or sideways or anything. So I'll stamp some there toward the top left and then add more at the bottom. So I got my scratch paper here to protect my table. Then I'll offset the next section a little bit, but it's no big deal. Just make a background. We know the middle part's actually going to get covered by my designer paper anyway. And then you can also go back and see if you where it's going to show if you have any blank spots you want to fill in. So just a nice little background there and tone on tone, crumb cake on crumb cake. And then my greeting, I'm going to, doesn't really matter which one you do first, but I'm going to add that background stamp I told you about that has the words and it's all distressed in crumb cake, just kind of all over this tag or this label, I should call it. So I stamped it repeatedly. I re-inked it. I stamped it on top of itself. It's just a background. It gives it distress. It gives it interest, all that. And then this card is just going to say happy. I'm going to use Memento Black ink because I like that black. I could use stays on since this is red rubber and I'm not coloring or anything. So either one works, but I like Memento. I am going to ink it really well. You can press harder on Memento ink pads. And what I'm going to do is stamp happy at the top left and then without re-inking, stamp it again on the bottom right. I stamped a little hard and got an edge there, but it's too late. There we go. Happy, happy. With these red rubber, you can actually trim that off so you don't get that, uh, the halo thing. And then these are all my pieces, but I do want this ribbon to not be white because um, it doesn't look very good on this card if it's white. So I'm going to color it with a stamp and blend and an alcohol marker. This is dark daffodil delight. Also comes with a light when you purchase this. I think ooh, I did not put that lid back on good. Um, I'm going to use the brush tip in to color because these are alcohol markers. They're great for coloring ribbons because it dries almost instantly, almost. Um, it colors it really well. The ribbon takes the color really well, all that stuff. Just make sure you have scratch paper underneath because they do stain. They're like a Sharpie. Make sure you put the lid on right away when you're done. Make sure you use the edge, the side flat of the marker, not like straight down. And then you have your ribbon in whatever color you want. Also, this white crinkled seam binding is really staticky. And these markers remove the static, so that's a bonus as well. By the way, this ribbon, let me measure it. Seven and one fourth inches. Seven and one fourth. I'm saying that for when Landa and I have to cut for this. <laughs> we won't have to re measure it. Okay, so um, I'm going to attach the sort of rectangle section of designer paper to the basic black cardstock. It's going to be a really skinny, like 16th inch border. And then this will just go right in the center of this card, top to bottom, it's, uh, land, it's portrait. See how pretty with the background. Then for my greeting happy, I'm going to add adhesive to the back and then just fold this ribbon over on itself back and forth. Just kind of get the shape you want. And then you place, while you still keep the ribbon just facing you, place the greeting or label face up so you can actually see you're positioning the ribbon how you want. Then I will add Stampin' Dimensionals to the back. This card's pretty simple, by the way. <laughs> Side note. <laughs> oh, and I broke this fingernail. I don't want to show you close up, but I broke this fingernail on the cruise, on like the last day, I think. Landa probably remembers because I was complaining a lot lost the dimensional thing um and it's so short now like it's messing me up to pick up dimensionals it is so short <laughs> anyway that's just a soft uh, jennifer personal complaint okay so four dimensionals is what i will use i'm using our mini stamp dimensionals i love them 
and definitely always make sure you put ribbon up put dimensionals or adhesive whatever you're using on top of the ribbon that you've attached this way to secure it even more to your cards and then this greeting is just going to go up here to the toward the top right and then i'll just grab my silicone craft sheet to add some adhesive to my detail b so I'll, i will use my stamp and seal tape runner i can flip this over <laughs> and um I just need adhesive on the thick parts, and I'm only putting it in the middle of the bee, the body part, so that the wings can kind of curl up. So this silicone sheet just protects your table from getting all the excess adhesive that would have stuck to it with all these little holes because it's so tiny. You can also use liquid glue or whatever when you do that. And then I will use a Stampin' Dimensional on the B. These mini ones fit everything, almost everything perfect. You do have to cut them up for our sampler this month because we're doing something really skinny. That's another story. And then just put the B down here, bottom left, boom, that's it, finished card. Card number one, finished. And this, of course, is part of your free class packet for this month. That host code right there. Super cute. Next month, when we give you this, this paper will be retired. So you'll be getting something that's no longer available. So that's kind of cool. I'm going to put this card in with the prize because it doesn't have the messed up stamping. So this is the one you have a chance to win today. <laughs> I've learned to just separate them right away. Good from the bad. Okay. Oh, I went. I stayed off my comments. Okay. Um, Betsy says, I like watching from YouTube because I can go back and watch even if you're live. Versus Facebook, Facebook, you have to wait for replay. Very good tip there, Betsy. Um, I think I knew that, but I think I definitely forgot that. That you basically can rewind while it's live on YouTube. So that's cool. Thank you. Oh, the craft caddy. Yes, Betsy, that's what it was. Put a butterfly there. I know, Stella. Uh, definitely you can cover that. She's talking about cover this with an embellishment. Definitely. I was thinking, I looked down at my original sample because there's another one. I swear, let me look at these. Yeah, there's another one where I use this label and there's a B right there. <laughs> it would totally cover it, but it's not this card. So I'll have to come up, you know, do a different one on that. Anyway, um, okay, card number two. Card number two. This one is a rich Razzleberry card base, five and a half, eight and a half. This we're going to do... This fold you guys have never heard of it's called a Z fold. <laughs> so you have heard of it from me multiple times. You fold the card base in half like normal. Then you fold the front backward in half all the way to the left. Simplest fun fold you can ever do. But yet our non-crafting friends will be amazed at our skills. So a little Z fold there. So then inside the packet we have our, there's a tiny heart. Don't lose it tiny heart. I actually dropped the die when I was making these and I thought I would, I literally thought I would never find it because <laughs> the die is tiny also. Anyway, a uh, basic white to go inside this four by five and a fourth. A strip of the designer paper, the set, the, um, what's it called? Dainty flowers celebration paper to go on the left. I'll put all the measurements on the blog for you. Um, so this is one of the ones that has just little bitty wildflowers and flowers growing up, all kind of separate from each other, but they're small. So that's great for the scale of this project. Um, anyway, lots of flowers there. Then from our temporarily not available <laughs> uh, framed florets dies, I have the largest oval from the center of this die here in crushed curry. When you cut that, you get a little beveled edge. It's kind of cool. And then there's another die in there on page two of these dies that cuts out a frame and then this center portion here. So I've cut that in basic white and then embossed it with the hive embossing folder, which you can get free with a $50 purchase right now. Um, I didn't use it because of that. I used it because it's a hive embossing folder to go with these bees, <laughs> but it works out for me. Bonus to promote that sale. <laughs> anyway. Um, okay, so 
frame florets and hive. And then our little banner here is from the uh, stylish shapes dies. Amazing pierced. Every image in there is pierced circles, squares, and banners. I believe that one's available right now. Okay, then you have the little rich razzleberry heart that is pre die cut from this tiny little die right here. It's going to fit perfectly inside this stamped B image. And then uh, this, I just pre did that, so we'll ignore that for now. Okay, so on your scrap of basic white, which for some reason I didn't give myself an additional scrap, so I'm going to grab one right now. Um, but you'll have a scrap in your class packet to stamp the B and the uh, crown on. Let me grab, just due to time, I'm just grabbing random white here. Okay, so we want this really large B, which I'll measure now. Oh, and but I'm sorry, there is some crush, um, some whisper white crinkled seam binding ribbon in this packet. Okay, so this B is three inches across by almost two inches tall. So it's really big. This is someone's, it is clean, yes. Million dollar set, by the way, for, it, it's in this catalog, obviously, but it was someone's million dollar stamp set. I'm gonna use crushed curry ink. Tap, tap, tap. <laughs> Don't press hard like I did on Memento. Of course, she'll do it on this piece. And see how it says curry right there. I just didn't want to clean my stamp and redo it. Eh, it's a little light. I did have to re-ink this pad yesterday. But curry is one of those pads that's a little special. <laughs> it sometimes needs a little more re-inking than normal. Let's get you super inked. There, now I'm too close to the edge. I went too fast. Um, I think it'll be fine though. Okay, so there's that. And then I'm going to quickly heat emboss the crown just in case anyone hasn't seen heat embossing, but I've already pre die cut that one out. It's heat embossed because, of course, a gold crown will look amazing on this card. So, where's all my stuff? Here's my heat tool. I do have to have a heat tool. Blow dryer does not get hot enough. I tried it already <laughs> when I was new. And then I'll grab my embossing buddy from the Embossing Editions Toolkit and remove the static from around where we will stamp. I'm going to use Versamark ink, which is a watermark. So it has multiple uses. But the watermark part means that it will uh, stay sticky for a while and the powder will actually stick to it versus with these inks, the ink dries way too fast. See, that doesn't work. And then I have my powder, my gold from the metallics embossing powders. I have my gold in this old, old stamp container just so I can scoop it like that, dump off the excess, and I'm ready to go. And then just put the lid on, no mess. <laughs> Some people use Tupperware containers for that. And also in the Embossing Editions Toolkit, there's now a tray you can use and funnel the powder back into your jar. Okay, so I'm going to put this on high, which is number two. And it should uh, melt. This tool has to heat up, but once it starts, it's tiny. It'll heat really fast. It will melt really fast, I should say. There it goes. You see it? finish. Don't overheat it. Don't um, don't keep heating it if it's gold and shiny. When it's finished, you can check and make sure the entire area is shiny and raised. And if not, just hit that one more time with the heat tool. And that's it. And your friends will think you are magic. <laughs> so we will, of course, Loosely cut around these and then die cut both out. I'm going to cut, I'm only going to die cut the B since I did the crown already. Actually, what I did, to be honest, just as a tip for you guys, when I stamped the crown, like I never 
I normally don't know how the card is going to end up. So I didn't know for sure if I would use the crown, blah, blah, blah. Um, so because it's so small, I just stamped four, heat embossed all four and die cut out all four. That's how I ended up with the extra for the video because it's, I might as well. Like it's small. It's not going to add any more time to what I'm doing. Anyway, uh, of course, let me grab my little boho blue mini <laughs> die cut machine. <laughs> Because you can get it free right now. Or you can get the white one free. Um, and all of these images from this bundle should fit in this machine. I witnessed my first person who, on the cruise, one of my team members, um, who could, couldn't get the machine to go through the way I'm going to use it with the white. And so what she did, I forgot now which one she switched to. But she switched to one of these, probably this light gray one, as her bottom plate. It's, I believe, a tiny bit thinner, and that worked for her to die cut. Um, and then I saw a video from Stampin' Up! a few days later. I think it was after the cruise. And they suggest if you have trouble getting it to go through, to do this um, here. They call it an E. So the middle plate is just a tiny bit back and that allows this top plate to be pressed down a little bit when it feeds through. Now mine, knock on wood, it works when I put all my plates even with each other with number one, the white one. So, but anyway, if anyone's having trouble, those are some trouble shooting things stamping up suggested. I know with, um, on the cruise for Vivian, it worked like a charm just to switch it to this plate. So it's not defective. It just, they actually made these plate, uh, made these machines so strong that sometimes it's too strong <laughs> for the white one. Also, side note, when you die cut this B, the little holes, there's four holes at the feet. That's so you can see through and align the image the stamped image through the hole. They're not ejection holes on this die because that's not necessary. See, mine works out. <laughs> Thank you, Julie. After my comment, then, then I can make the screen bigger unless I close it and reopen the live video. That's cool. Is that a YouTube thing? I think is what she means. Um, I did, I think I said this on a previous video, but I semi-recently for the first time ever casted a video <laughs> to my TV, like a YouTube video. And I was like, this is pretty cool. So I know people can do that too on YouTube. You can, if you have like, I don't know, mine's a fire stick, but whatever. If you have the, the proper things on your TV, you can watch YouTube on your television, which is pretty cool. I'm not sure if that's what you mean, Julie, but is another benefit to watching over there okay so here we go oh i am gonna stamp one one more thing no several more things <laughs> okay so we got our b we have our crown would have die cut the crown out obviously and then i need to stamp an image i want to stamp an image on this white so it'll show through on the front of my card and my greeting so i'm gonna stamp queen and the big flowers again so grab my chamois which i totally yeah this is dried out from me being out of town <laughs> so you can see a dried out chamois it's perfectly fine it's still a little wet right here so it's flexible there it just hasn't dried all the way that needs to be re-wet and when i do that of course i rinse it out and take all the color the ink out but i have a, another one over here don't worry this is the one i use when i'm designing and it's wet because I was just designing yesterday. But they do need to be wet, but then squeezed out um, to clean your stamps. And this one's just totally stained, but I just rinsed it out yesterday. So that is normal how it looks. Um, but once they, that's to clean your stamps, obviously. Once they get too much ink in them, these, rinse it out in the sink and squeeze until you don't see that color or any color coming out. Because that ink will just go right back on your stamps, you know? Okay. Scratch paper. Okay. 
So down in this bottom right hand corner of my basic white, I'm going to stamp the flowers in rich razzleberry. Just a reminder, this is that free class you can get with your online orders this month. Okay, so let me like, let me look at the original. How did I do this? So tap, tap, tap. I just kind of put a partial, the top portion of these flowers down in the bottom right hand corner. Something like that. It's fine. It will look great however you do it. And then also in Rich Razzleberry, on this banner die cut, getting ink on my hands, uh, from, <clears throat> from the stitch style of shapes. Um, I'm just gonna stamp the word queen. So I'm tapping as gently as I can. I'm still getting a little ink on those edges because this is red rubber. So I'm gonna take that off. Lightly tap. You can lightly tap as many times as you want to build up the ink, but don't press hard. You're going to regret it. Hopefully this is good. I can't really tell. Anyway, I'm just going to put queen kind of right in the center here. If it's crooked or something, we'll pretend it's not, and I'll give you the good sample. It's a little crooked. It's fine, though. <laughs> anyway, uh, by the way, this font is like a, what do you call that font? It's all caps. Uh, oh, I can't think of what it's called, but it's real fancy. What's that called? It's something that used to be popular when I was a kid. Oh, Julie says no on Facebook. Awesome. Pat, yeah, you're welcome for those tips. Hopefully they help on the Boho Blue machine. And that, by the way, they were doing that tip on a white machine. It's either of the small machines. Side note. The die cutting tips I was just giving y'all. That's for the white one or the blue one. Um, in they're saying, you know, 99% of the times the machine is not defective. You just need to try those little tricks. Okay, so I'll put the white on the inside there. And then the designer paper on the left front flap. I'm going to attach the, the honeycomb oval, which is white flat to the crushed curry oval. This is a up and down card portrait. Then I when I made this card originally I attached queen right away but that was a mistake. Save that till last. Hopefully I will remember that when I type these instructions. Um, but I'm going to attach the B with Stampin' Dimensionals to the oval. I can use queen as a guide. I just kind of want it down here on the bottom hanging off to the right, but I um, don't want to glue it down yet, and I'll explain why when I get to that. So I'm just going to use three dimensionals. You can use as many as you want, and I want my B kind of here on the left side at an angle, wing, top left wing hanging off, and enough room for queen to be down there. And then I'm just going to finish building this after I attach it to my card front. Okay, so this oval, I do want it to be as centered as possible. It's going to be right in the middle of this card. So I'll only place adhesive on the back left. So I'm going to turn it over top to bottom. Flip it over. Position it back really well so that the oval appears centered. And then add Stampin' Dimensionals using this invisible line here as a guide. This fingernail is really messing me up. So now I have that center section. Now I'll just add a couple more on the left. So I'm just doing five. <clears throat> How come I'm losing my voice today? And then now I can uh, place this on here. Dimensional should only be on the left. I'm placing it based on um, these flowers. So it's a little higher and I'm just kind of trying to visually center it between the top of the card and where the flowers are. It doesn't have to be perfect. And now I can add queen and I only want adhesive on the 
I'm just going to attach it flat on the left back because it's going to hang off the right. But the reason I want to attach it now is I can make sure it is straight with the bottom and top of the card. Trust me, it wasn't before when I attached it. I thought I had it straight with the oval, but it wasn't. So just attach it last. And then we'll add our little crown. And I did not lose the heart yet. Uh, the crown's going to be with Stampin' Dimensional, though. And it's, of course, gold heat embossed. It's shiny. And that's going to go right here on the left of the word queen at an angle. And then the heart, just make sure you flip it to the back. The front will be smoother. I'm. You can use liquid glue. To me, a glue dot will be too big. But I just use my silicone sheet and my tape runner. So this little heart can fit in that cover up the heart that appears when you stamp that bee. And a couple more things to finish this off. We've got the ribbon and uh, rhinestones. So remember you get with your $50 or more online order, you'll get a free full pack of champagne rhinestones. That's through February 15th. And so I'm going to use a couple of those on here as well. Maybe three, I think. <laughs> okay, so this ribbon is white, right, white crinkled seam binding. I'm going to color it with Blackberry Bit Bliss Light. Um, by the way, in case anyone doesn't know, we don't sell Stampin' Blends in every Stampin' Up! color. That's why this is crushed curry, paper, and ink, but I used Daffodil Delight Blend. Same thing here. We do not sell Rich Razzleberry Blend. So I used Light Blackberry to be a little closer to rich razzleberry that you could go dark as well. I didn't even test the dark to see which one I liked better. So you can actually keep building up the color when you do this with blends as well, just to make it darker. You can totally do that. Um, yeah. Anyway, I don't know the thought, but I lost it. Okay. So I'm going to make a bunny ears bow with this ribbon, which is, let me measure saving me minutes later <laughs> in my life 11 and 1 4th inches 11 and 1 4th okay so we're going to do bunny ears bow two bunny ears lots of space in between the two ears of course two equal tails um, each ear is in a separate hand right, left. Um, all my fingers are pointing at me, my fingers and thumb, so that the ribbon has been straight. So if I let it go, it's completely straight. It's not all twisted like this, which makes your bow not as pretty. So flat, flat. Then right loop over left and then push that right loop down into the rabbit hole. And it won't look great, but you'll just fix it. By the way, I just heard the cap jingle bells. <laughs> And I remembered I was worried about her when I started this video. She was tearing. She was very wild this morning. But I didn't have to worry, apparently, because I think she's just in the window watching birds. I'm just fixing that. You can trim any excess. So I do. I think, yeah. That's, hmm, they kind of look even if I do that. Let's wait and see. So, uh, mini glue dot the bow. How's everybody doing? <laughs> to watch you on my TV and comment on my iPhone. Very smart, Janet. Yes, perfect. You watch it up there, but when you want to make those comments or say hi, just grab the phone. I love it. Okay, so my bow is going to go down here on the bottom left of the oval. So cute for my purple ladies. <laughs> And then, sorry, I got a glue dot stuck to my thumb. I obviously missed one at some point. It was down here. So I had to remove that. Um, okay, last but not least, some little champagne rhinestones, which um, I selected those before I made any of these cards as the gift, but I had thought they would kind of go good with 
like if you wanted just in general designing for the bees with the gold crowns and stuff i thought it would match well so i'm gonna put two small ones up here in the corner and a medium one in the cor top right corner on that white inside so that is the finished card and it just says queen so you can give that to almost any lady you know <laughs> Queen, queen, super pretty. Uh, I'm going to put this one in for the prize because this queen is a little crooked, although it does not show as bad once the card is all put together, which is nice. And that doesn't bother me personally. It has to be really off for me to start over. Um, okay, so that was card number two. And I want to remind you over on the blog, Today, stamptherapist.com after 11 a.m. Central, this the, uh, the blog post will go out and it'll have these recipe cards, which have the measurements and all the supplies used. Of course, if you find an error or missing product, let me know and I can add it and fix it for you. But um, you can print these or just use them, you know, on your computer or device and or save them or whatever. Uh, I create these on my stuff.com my stampin' stuff. Which you can check out. That's an inventory website in the U.S. for Stampin' Up! products. And if you have any questions on any of that, let me know. Okay, card number three. Our last one I'm making today, but then I'll show you my fourth one. Hopefully, I won't forget. <laughs> let me put the paper right here. Card number three. We have a basic white card base. Over here, I'll uh, just normal fold it in, in half. Uh, portrait again. All the cards I'm making are portrait. The last one I'm not making today is landscape. Okay, and then you will have in your packet a piece of crushed curry, then a piece of basic black, and then this piece of the dainty flowers designer paper. And it's the piece that has all of the ovals on it. Uh, there's six ovals, I should say, that are floral ovals. And so we're just going to cut around it for you and give you that one in your packet. And it looks like this once it's cut out. The measurements are in the blog post. Okay, then you will have a scrap of crushed curry cardstock, which I've already stamped on. I gave myself... Actually, I pre-stamped these, but we're going to try it. Um, one basic white, uh, the label that comes in the queen bee dies. And then pre-die cut vellum cardstock, large detail wings. They fit right on top, by the way, of the large stamp bee. And they're right there in the dies. And then a piece of the... Whisper White Crinkled Seam Binding, which basically should be about as long as the first, um, the last one because it's a bow. Okay, so those are all the pieces in the packet. You are going to stamp in, I used Memento Black. Remember, you could use stays on because this is red rubber. I stamped the large B in Memento Black and the small B that has the little flower on it in Memento Black on here. Then you're going to want to loosely cut those apart. Remember, I have many reasons why. <laughs> and then die cut them out. Oh, and I wanted to give you a close-up of this to show you how it does not stamp solid. Because it's impossible to stamp it solid. Because there's holes in the image on purpose. So if you're thinking you did a poor job, literally look at the back of the red rubber. And you'll see those little holes in there, which is purposely there and look at the image on the front of the stamp case which um, is not solid and that goes for both bees it's distressed okay so my greeting is going to say happy birthday and I'm stamping it in memento black And I'm going to attempt to do it live. It's red rubber. It's not as easy to line up as 
<laughs> and these are two separate stamps. Calligraphy is kind of what this reminds me of, by the way, but it's not. Did anyone put what this font is? It's like fancy. It's not calligraphy, but it kind of reminds me of calligraphy. Thank you, Stella. Thank you, Pat. Thank you, Jennifer. <laughs> um, okay. Anyway. Also, let's don't do that again. Happy at the top left. Straight up and down. Don't rock it. <laughs> and birthday bottom right. You can get out your stamparatus if you really want to be straight and perfect. Oh, I did good. Yay. Okay. Um, so we have all our stamping done because I pre-did that one. Let's I'm gonna go ahead and color this ribbon. Daffodil Delight. So if you Get this class packet and you want to do it just like mine. Those are the only two colors you'll need. Daffo um, blends. Daffodil Delight and Blackberry Bliss. Also, you only need these ink pads. Um, my heat embossed. So I use Burst Mark and then Memento Black, Crushed Curry, Crumb Cake, and Rich Raspberry. For all four cards. The last card is all black and white that I'm going to show you. Okay, so this will be Daffodil Delight Dark Ribbon. <laughs> Sometimes I don't get my angle right when I'm doing this, and it picks up zero ink. Just adjust it. But uh, by the way, you pick up more ink this way on the ribbon, but the other reason not to point it down is that's going to ruin the tip of your marker. <laughs> don't do that. The markers that only I use, the tip never frays because I color this way, side, you know, at an angle, not this way where the tip bends like that. Um, and then, of course, I do the ribbon like that. So take care of those. And put the lid on right away because it'll dry out just like a Sharpie. As soon as you're done coloring, put the lid on. Okay, let's put this card together. I think this, I can't remember now for sure, but this one might have also been inspired by a card that Chris made for our, that kickoff event. She, I had two guest uh, display stampers who did amazing samples with Playing in the Rain and the Queen Bee Bundle. Okay, so attach those three pieces together, black, crushed curry, and designer paper. And that's going to go on the card base flat. It is a skinny border on the card base, so a really thin white border there, which I think looks nice since this is actually kind of off-white, the background on this designer paper. And then I'm going to use actually a mini glue dot to attach these vellum wings. So just pick up the dot right in the center of the wings there. You could, of course, curl those up a little if you want, whatever, the vellum wings. It's vellum cardstock, so it's pretty thick. Uh, okay, I'm going to tie a bow, bunny ear bow, with my ribbon. So I'm assuming this is the same length as the other ribbon. We're going to go with that size. Tie a bow. Let's see how y'all are doing here. <laughs> Don't forget, by the way, if you just came on or you're watching this on replay, you still can comment, you know, say anything you want. Hi, whatever. And that does get you entered to win these three cards I'm making today. Okay, so now I have all my pieces to assemble this. I am going to attach the B flat, the large B first. Flat over here to the left. This sort of like it landed on this little wreath, center left. The ribbon, the bow, I'm going to attach, maybe I'll, we'll do it this way. I'm gonna put a mini glue dot on the center uh, back of my greeting and attach that ribbon at an angle, the bow at an angle, I should say, uh, and angles, 
so that I can put the greeting on the top right and the bow is angled and facing down toward the B. And then I will add Stampin' Dimensionals to this to actually attach the greeting. And then this is the one I was saying, I have a B that's intended to go right here to the right of happy birthday. Would have been perfect on that other card where I made a mess up. I needed to cover up a mistake. <laughs> so, And then last but not least, um, I want to cover up this center here where these wings are. There's a glue dot that kind of shows, but also it just kind of half covers the heart and half not. So I would either put another heart, a die cut one on top of that, or just grab a large champagne rhinestone and cover it up with that. And that is card number three for today. I love it. Okay, so there you go. Um, Queen B. We made three cards today. You can get these cards. You can have a chance to win these cards for free, can't, all pre-made, um, by commenting on the video today, or if you sh and or if you share the video, make sure you comment that you share. That gets you entered again. And then this is that card class you can get free. So we'll cut, die cut, punch, and emboss everything for you, mail it to you. You'll get a PDF tutorial emailed to you so that you can stamp and assemble these at home. And here is the fourth card. So I wanted it, I wanted, wanted to do a black and white card. Can you see the embossing here on the background? Um, it's black and white. We have a double bow there with our white crinkled seam binding. We left it white on this one. <laughs> um, black B, black heart, black crown, the little swag half a wreath die cut image and then that new embossing folder that looks like hash marks so hard to see in black <laughs> it's really cool in person um so anyway that's the class that is the cards for today any questions let me know thank you ramona dang it now i have to get this set i love it stella honestly um, Stella, I don't know if you watched this because I almost forgot to, but Stampin' Up, if you went to on, on stage, which I know you did, um, they shared with us the videos from the main on stage that we did not go to in Vienna. Anyway, long story short, I watched the girls demonstration who designed this million dollar stamp set. And that's when I was like, oh, darn, I guess I have to get this set now. Because <laughs> her, her card samples were awesome. Um, also, the ones Chris made helped me along with that as well. Uh, Sarah says, wish the new embossing folder was sold separately from the others. You're going to love the other ones too, Sarah, once you get, it, get to use them and see them in person. My, I will say, though, uh, these two are my favorite. And then the little flower one will have to grow on me. <laughs> Although it kind of does look like starfish, so... You know with our nautical stuff but anyway i know what you're saying but unfortunately yeah that is a three pack which who knows if they will keep doing you know selling them that way or not or if it's a stamp a uh, trial or what uh betsy says her samples were awesome talking about um chris i believe or the girl i don't know which one you're talking about actually but both were awesome so awesome the first one is my favorite because it is so simple to make. Yes, that's true, Eleanor. Very simple. You can get eight out of a sheet. Easy, done. Yes, I agree. Awesome. It does look like Starfish, Julie. Yes. It was someone else on the cruise that said that. Of course, not me. I was like, oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys so much. Everyone have a great day. I will see you next week, Thursday, 9 a.m. Central. If you have any questions on anything, let me know. There is an email that goes out today at 1 p.m. Central with um, 
a recap, of course, of the video and the ordering special, but also at the bottom are links to the events I talked about today. So you can register there as well. All right. I will see you guys later. Thank you. Bye.